Uh, you've heard of a GoFundMe page, right? But what about a goat fund me? <laughs> uh, well, Bring Home Beverly the Goat is actually a real page that a woman in Linwood put together. Photojournalist Tim Hahn has the story about a missing statue of a goat and how much joy it brings to passerbys. Someone stole the goat, and it seems to be a no-good Grinch. I drive by here daily several times a day. I work right over there, and I live in Mukilteo, and so I drove by it every day on my way to work. And it was a reason to smile every single morning. We love the goat. The goat is out all year. He dresses it up for Christmas, you know, just puts a smile on people's faces as they go by. And it's, it's just such a shame that somebody decided to spoil that. I'm sad that it's gone. Silly people. I don't know what, uh, who would, who would uh, steal something like that. For what reason? Who knows, you know? We're going to sell a goat? No. <laughs> it was just, it was definitely a great reason to smile in the morning. I start by putting these signs up because we really miss the goat. And we'd really like to have the original goat back. That would really make everybody, I think, in the community happy. And I'm sure it would make the goat owner happy. We started a goat fund me page to replace the goat. So as a community, we want to donate $350 at least. I think it's more at this point to replacing that goat and getting a way to secure it so it's not stolen again. It absolutely gave me an ounce of joy every day on my way to work. and that's insanely important in today's world because we are so divided. It's such a polarized time in this country. To have such, such a cute little random thing like a outfitted goat bring everybody in the community together is just really a holiday story.